for an athlete to be successful, that athlete has to train very hard. They have to train in the basics. They have to get the basics down. The same is true in our Christian lives. For Christians, for us to be holy, to be faithful disciples of Jesus, we have to train really hard. We have to train in the basics. Athletes need coaches. They need role models. They need people to look up to. And the same is true for us as Catholic Christians. We need role models, people to look up to, people to coach us, to teach us. This season of Lent is about training deeply in our faith and the spiritual life with the basics. Going deeper in prayer, going deeper in sacrifice, giving of ourselves, giving up things so that we can grow in our desire for God, in almsgiving, charity, reaching out to others, improving other people's lives. And for this training in the basics for the season, I'd like to propose to the entire community today our coach. I have a coach for us for this holy season of Lent, a role model that you and I can all look to. Some of you have heard about him before. I've spoken about him to the juniors. Mr. Soroy's did a wonderful presentation in his class, religion class on him. His name is Pier Giorgio Frassati. Pier Giorgio Frassati. Tomorrow in homeroom, I know you can't see it, all of you, each of you will be getting a holy card of Pier Giorgio Frassati. You'll be getting this card tomorrow with a wonderful prayer on the back for courage. This is Pier Giorgio Frassati, you'll see this tomorrow. It's a picture of him on his last mountain climb. He loved climbing mountains. This picture was taken a month before he died. He died when he was 24 years old. Pier Giorgio was born in 1901 in Italy, Turin, Italy. And Pier Giorgio was born into a very wealthy family. His father was very influential. He founded a popular Italian newspaper. His father was a senator in Italy. And later his father was the Italian ambassador to Germany. Pier Giorgio came from a lot of money. He had, an, he had one sister. His parents, although they raised him Catholic, they weren't very faithful themselves. But as a young boy, Pier Giorgio started to develop a deep spiritual life and a love for God. And this love for God in Pier Giorgio's life began to overflow to others. There's some beautiful stories. So, for example, when Pier Giorgio was a little boy, a mother came to the Frassati home begging with her son. She wanted food and money. And Pier Giorgio noticed that this little boy didn't have shoes on. And so Pier Giorgio gave the little boy his shoes. The father, Mr. Frassati, once in a while would give Pier Giorgio some spending money or money to take the train back home. Pier Giorgio would go into the streets of Turin and he would look for poor people and he would give that money away. He would give to the poor. He would even give his train fare away to those who were hungry so that he would ride third class and the other people would get to be able to take the train. When he graduated from school, Pier Giorgio's father offered him either a car or money. Pier Giorgio took the money and he went and he gave it away to the poor. He was a handsome young man. He had lots of friends. He was a practical jokester. He loved sports. He loved mountain climbing and skiing and horseback riding. The people who know him say that he was always joyful, that he had a great sense of humor. And yet he had this deep fire burning inside of his heart. As a young man, as a teenager, your age, Pierre Giorgio was doing these works of charity, changing people's lives, touching people's lives. What was the secret to his life? 
What was the fire that burned in Pier Giorgio's heart? Every day, Pier Giorgio began his day with Mass. He began his day with Mass, with the Holy Eucharist. And he would say, Jesus comes to me in the Eucharist, and I go out and serve the poor. He spent a long time in prayer. He used to spend a lot of time in prayer before the Eucharist. And remember, we have the Blessed Sacrament Chapel in Campus Ministry. That's where Pier Giorgio used to get the fire in his heart. He used to pray before Jesus in the Eucharist. And Jesus would fill his heart with love, and he would go out and he would share that love with others. That was the fire that burned in his heart. Get to know Pier Giorgio Frassati this Lent. Learn about him. Say this prayer every day that you're going to get tomorrow. Pope John Paul II in 1990 beatified Pier Giorgio Fossati. That means that we call him Blessed Pier Giorgio Fossati, which means he's one step closer to being declared a saint in the Catholic Church. He was 24 years old when he died. He wasn't a priest. He wasn't a religious brother. He wasn't married. Although we know that he was in love with a woman he wanted to marry, but his parents didn't want him marrying her because she was of a different social class. He was a normal, young person like all of you here. He loved life, he loved friends, he loved sports, but he loved Jesus. And because he loved Jesus so much, that love for Jesus overflowed to others. Get to know him this Lent. Let him be your coach. Let him be your role model for prayer. So I want to challenge you this Lent to model your life on the life of Pier Giorgio, who loved Jesus and knew Jesus' love. On this holy card that you're going to get tomorrow, Pier Giorgio signed something on it. He signed on the picture in Italian, to the top. That's what it says on the holy card, to the top. That was his motto. Climb to the top. Spiritually, this Lent. Keep climbing higher. Climb higher to Jesus. This is why we give things up. One of the reasons we give things up is so that we can be more aware of our desire for Jesus. So Lent is about going higher. It's about going to the top. And so we want to do that. We want to do it through prayer. Praying more deeply every day through sacrifice, giving up things so that we can be more deeply aware of our desire for Jesus, and service, almsgiving. You know, you heard the announcement this morning. I want to encourage the entire community, all of you, although it's not obligatory, to really take advantage of this BFFL, Best Friends for Lent. It's a great idea. You're going to have the opportunity to be randomly assigned a student in your grade that you're going to be able to pray for every day, you can offer sacrifice for them. You may not know them, so you can get the opportunity to sit down and talk with them, maybe at lunch. You can do some acts of kindness for them during the season of Lent. It's a great opportunity to build community. This Lent is about going to the top. And so as we begin this holy season, we ask here Giorgio Fassati to pray for us, that all of us will climb the mountain of holiness to Jesus, so that as we come to the end of the season of Lent, our friendship with Jesus will be stronger, our love for one another will be stronger. To the top, we climb with our coach, Pier Giorgio, who will teach us how to love Jesus more during this Lenten season.